Let's go to the beach. Come on. I just want to make things perfectly clear. We're going to the beach, but there's going to be no surfing. This is one of New Zealand's premier surf beaches, but we're not going surfing because there are rules and surfing ain't one of them. Okay, come on. Lovers of good times, Vanna Burns here. I'm out at Lyle Bay in Wellington, New Zealand. Just I'm on the good side of the VIP zone. Not a lot of people know that in uh, most New Zealand beaches you have a uh, what we call a VIP zone. It's a custom made, specifically fenced up area for people who are better than other people. I'm not saying that I'm better than other people, but I am saying that on this occasion I'm on a particular side of the fence. You see, it's easy to just assume that you're allowed to be anywhere and go everywhere and do anything and talk to everyone. But there's a lot of people in the world and a lot of places that you'll arrive at that simply don't work that way. Can't think of any right now, but I'm pretty sure that there's somewhere and somebody out there probably doesn't want you to talk to them. Who knows who they are? <laughs> and anyway, who cares? After I've spent my allocated 14 minutes on the VIP side of the beach rope fence, I'll retreat back up the hill to the what they what they call the sort of the perimeter, also known as the uh, poor people's zone. You can tell you're in the poor people's zone because there's a big old grey brick fence right there, making sure that nobody comes in, nobody comes out without proper credit card authorization. Really, no matter what the situation, whether you're a highbrow aficionado or just a pauper slumming it down in the regular, I think that's what it's called, doesn't matter. In the middle of winter, when everybody else that you care about is at Glastonbury Festival, but you decided to stay home for tax reasons, tax reasons, tax reasons, a tropical New Zealand beach in July is still freaking cold. The other thing you probably don't realize is that uh, I'm walking away from the ocean right now because my feet have recently become stoking, stoking wet. Extremely stoking wet. It's really, really not comfortable at all. On a beach in New Zealand, it's all about respect. Just respecting the people you're with and respecting the people that they knew to get you onto the beach in the first place. Because without them, you'd be nothing. And without nothing, you would be at home living a much less sandy lifestyle than you currently are. When I spell it out like that, it's all really just so simple. So, so simple. All right. Ooh, this dog's, dog's fucking. expecting that. But I'm real happy to be here. It's really exciting to be me and to live this life on the beaches of New Zealand. See you soon, Internet.